goodness, people. How are you? <clears throat> okay. So, next up, affordable underrated fragrances. Let's hit it. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, I gave y'all the niche. I gave y'all them luxurious vibes, you know, the pricing. Let's just say that, that that serious pricing. Because I think sometimes we get caught up in thinking like luxury means it costs a lot. You can live a very luxurious life on a budget and just be as happy and feel just as luxurious. I, luxurious is a vibe, really. Let's just be real. And I think that we need to step away from that whole, oh my God, it's about the money. No, it's about the vibe. You know, you can have, you can find ways to have a very luxurious life on a very good, on a, on a low, you know, low budget vibe and still have that look and feel that makes you in your household. So these are luxury on a budget, as I like to say, these are the luxury on a budget underrated fragrances. So let's keep it going. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Okay. So let me see where we going with this. Give me a second. Cause I, I, I I got to grab a couple more. All right, let's talk. The first one we're going to talk about is Ted Lapidus. Is it Ted Lapidus? Yes, Ted Lapidus, White Soul, Gold, and Diamonds. Now, this is from one of our favorite perfumers, Francis Kirkjohn. I told y'all I got a lot that aren't MFK. First off, I think the bottle is really tacky. I really don't like the bottle, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about what's inside the bottle. It is this beautiful white floral, just really stunning. Um, it has amber in it, so it's an amber floral. So it has jasmine sunbach, it has, you know, neroli, it has orange blossom. It's a really pretty white floral. And as it dries down, it gets a little powdery because it has heliotrope and amber. So it's got this sweet, you know, kind of rich amber vibe along with a powderiness. The, the, the um, florals are really beautiful. It's like, you know, a deep amber floral, which is like, you know, one of them sweet spots. I love a good amber floral because it has this richness to it, but it still gives you that floral. So that is White Soul Golden Diamonds by Ted Lapidus. All right, so this is Agent Provocateur's Blue Silk. Now, this is another amber floral because I do love them, but this is a little spicier. It has a little more arom it's like slightly aromatic because it has juniper, which I don't normally like, but for some reason it works well in here, I think because it has a little spice in it. So just got, you know, the florals in it, and as it dries down, it it has um, like the, the creaminess, the creamy woodiness of sandalwood, like it has that sandalwood vibe with some vanilla and tonka bean in it. So it gets a little, it has a sweet richness to it. Um, and it's really quite an interesting fragrance. I always say this one is, I wouldn't say this is for everyone. You have to kind of like this kind of, um, I think of it like, a, like this mellow, fragrance it's one of those laid back you're not you're not trying to do too much you just want to smell kind of clean and beautiful but in a um not the clean girl aesthetic where it feels like musky and things like that but this is a richer just like a more elevated a very elegant um floral with a little spice to it um so I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I get from it. So that is Blue Silk by Asian Provocateur. All right, next up is Red Door Shimmer by Elizabeth Arden. Now, I want to say I like this because it's not really like the original Red Door. But what this is, is a floral fruity. It's got like, um, it's got pear on the top. But the pear has a little, let me make sure I'm talking about, yeah, has a little blackberry and a little pepper in it. So it's not quite as like sweet and bright as like La Belle. But you do get that hint of pear juiciness to it along with that berry. Now it is a floral, so it has the florals in it. But as it dries down, you get this, this um, vanillic vibe from it from 
the tonka bean then it's got it gets musky okay so as it dries down it becomes like a musky vanilla kind of woody because it has sandalwood and vetiver in it to make sure that it it gives it very a very sophisticated vibe I really do uh, I meant to take this this year for work I be I, you know what sometimes I want to put on at the end of the day but honey them kids be wearing me out I just be forgetting to refresh I said I'm gonna start refreshing during my lunch just to give myself a little fresh freshen up so I can feel like yes let's keep this day going because by then I've worn the same thing for about six seven hours it's about six hours then yeah about six hours so yeah every time that was a whole conversation to myself never mind I'm not editing it but yeah this is like this is a really good work fragrance to me because it has a punch to it it is it is beautiful and got a little punch to it but so you will stand out but it's not so overwhelming that it'll drive people crazy Like whenever I wear it I do get compliments because it's just a nice likable very sophisticated floral fruity which is not too fruity just enough fruit with a little bit of a, a twin a little bit of twist to them so that it's not like bath and body works no shade to bath and body works but you know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about okay so that is red door shimmer this is rawa by al haramain i don't want to i don't own that many al haramains mm. So this, I got this because it had coffee and almond and, and a few other notes in it. But really, it's the coffee is very subtle. It's not like in your face like, you know, Deluxe or anything like that or Oud Cafe. It's a very subtle one. It is more, they say it's more like, um, um, ah. Okay, let me get that out right. They say it's like Black Opium or Good Girl. I don't own either one of them. I have tried Good Girl a long time ago, and it might be similar, but it has almond, it has coffee, it has cacao, it has tuberose in it, and you do get a very beautiful white floral in here, and then it has um, some vanilla, so it's like a vanilla floral, it get, you get a lot of vanilla as it dries down. It's really pretty, I love it for layering, it's really more girly than I expected from seeing the notes. I was thinking I was going to get this coffee, uh, almond coffee, but I really didn't. But it's still really sunny, really beautiful. So this is Rawa by Al Haramain. If anybody's tried it, let me know because I don't know too many people have tried it besides me. This is Cashmere Kumquat by Corez. Now, Corez has a whole line of fragrances. They are EDTs. However, this one does last pretty long on the skin. This has lily in it. It has, so it is a floral fruity because it has um, kumquat in it, mandarin orange. It's got the lily in it and orange blossom. Well, it's got jasmine and orange blossom. And then it's got a cashmere and vanilla. So it is really the cashmere is really beautiful in here and then you get those the the florals and you get this kind of sweet fruitiness in the beginning that's not that is it's not like a bright fruit it's just like a real like you know warms up chill fruit it's like that warms up cozy fruit because i think the cashmere just really grounds it and gives it this warm vibe but it's a very kind of warm cozy hanging out at home netflix and chill not doing too much but still want to smell just really um slightly sexy and the reason why i say it's slightly sexy because it gives off this um it, it gives off this at home sexy nothing you know like you know in your face but like this very quiet very chill i don't have to i'm not working too hard i'm just this is just how i'm smelling today and it's a good sexy vibe so this is cashmere kumquat it actually lasts pretty long you get a good five or six hours when you overspray don't sit up here and spray it just a little gas to give it some overspray See what I'm saying? But when you do, baby, you're going to smell good. You're going to smell good. All right, let's talk about Calvin Klein. We're going to go with Calvin Klein Secret Obsession. Now, before I get started, let me tell you this story that I saw on TikTok. Now, don't y'all love how these young people be acting like they finding some shit, some new stuff, like 
oh my god and i'm gonna need them to look some stuff up before they even say something sometimes you know because you know they make things viral that have been around for years you just hearing about them we knew about them we've been using them you know what i'm saying so this young lady was talking about how she went to Ulta and she tried obsession First off, I didn't even know they had Obsession in the store. But okay, and then she was going on and on about Obsession, and how beautiful it smelled, and then how, but she, this moral of her story was to, you know, make sure you, you know, look around before you spend that money because it was expen kind of expensive at Ulta. And then she found it at Walgreens, you know, relatively inexpensive. And then she found out that there were more of them. I said, bless this child, sweetheart. And let me just say, that really made me feel old because I bought Obsession when it first came out back in 1985. Yes, I was an Obsession girl, honey. You Them big, them big, 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 big 80s fragrances, I wore them, honey. I wore the original Poison. I wore Obsession. Them were my two favorites. <laughs> my two favorites. With Oh, and then don't forget Chanel Coco, the original. And and Fendi, the original. I wish I could get Fendi again. Woo, I used to love that fragrance. But anyway, back to the story. Let's talk Secret Obsession. Secret Obsession has that Obsession DNA. So if you know the Obsession DNA, it is that rich amber. Baby is sexy. Obsession is sexy as hell. Let's just be honest. Back in the you can tell me shit when I wore it. Okay, but it has that. But then it has a spiciness. It has plum in it. So it's like a spicy more fruity um, obsession, which is quite pretty. Now, I will say this. It doesn't last as long as I like. I would like it to. It don't, it don't have that obsession. It don't last like obsession back in 1985. That shit, I could put it on and for real, for real. That was on me all day. All day, and I didn't even. And that back then, they used to tell us, "Don't put out too much," you know. You and and they used to tell us we was getting anosmic. No, the shit is gone. Mm -mm. We we were not spraying like we should have. We should have been spraying like we had lost our damn mind. But anyway, this is <laughs> Secret Obsession. It's very sexy. It's it's a it's a classic, you know, Calvin Obsession Amber with a nice modern twist with the spice. And the plum and the little, I think it's got tangerine in it too. Not, no, it's got plum. Um, does it have tangerine? No, not this one. It's got the plum in it and it's got the nutmeg. So it's a spicy fruit, you know, stone fruit. So it's got that deep, deepness, of, richness of the plum along with the classic white florals, amber of obsession. And it is good. It's good, y'all. It's good. All right, so let's talk about this classic beauty right here. This is Reem Acra. Now, I have to be honest with you. The only place you can probably find this right now, because I haven't seen on FragranceNet or any of them le lately, is eBay, which is where I got mine, and I paid $20 for it, $19.99. So it's going to be right around there, right? But let me tell you, this is... Um, Reem Acra, if you don't know, is a bridal designer, makes bridal dresses. Um really beautiful stunning ones I, I used to like watch the bridal shows beautiful dresses right and this reads like a ream acra acra dress right it's very classic it's a classic amber floral with a little spice in it. it's got a little ginger in it but it's a white floral it's got the ginger in it and then as it dries down you get this musky amber it is very classic it is very beautiful it is one of those things that you could just like you could wear this as a signature for, say that ah, signature scent this could definitely be a signature scent because you would be walking through and everybody would be like you know she's so classic Classy. This is classy ho. This ain't this ain't trashy ho time. This is classy ho. Y'all know what I'm talking about when you serving up the class. When you are, and this is on that budget where you can be like, mm -hmm, but y'all don't know I ain't spend that much, you know. And and is it just me or don't you feel good when you are in spaces and places like that and you know you wearing something like this twenty dollar fragrance and you're getting and people are like, oh my god, you smell so good. You know, when, and you know, these are people who run around thinking that in order for something to be good, it has to cost a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know them people. You know them people I'm talking about. Those are the type of people I like to wear stuff like this. 
Because I love to wear something where it's like, yeah, but I only paid $20 and you all was sitting up here talking about how good I smell. Because, you know, those those people who feel like if you spend some money, it makes it more important or you're more or, you know, makes it, you know, gives it more worth. No, honey, no. Here we go. Reem Acra. This is the EDP. All right. So here's another one. This is another Elizabeth Arden. This is Art and Beauty. I could have actually waited to show this when I'm going through spring for real spring affordable spring and summer affordables. But oh, this is a beautiful floral. It's not, it's, it's a, it's a green floral. It has a greenness to it. Um, but it's just basically a really beautiful, well done musky floral. You know how you like that. If you like a good musky floral, this is a very clean girl aesthetic. This is, you know, just living, you know, that very just chill, you know, when you just, I'm just going out, I'm just going to throw on something. That's what this is. It has a really beautiful floral note. It does have, what is this in here? It has like rice flour, which is quite interesting. I don't know what the hell that is. But it has like um, a, a slight hint of ginger in it to give it a little bit of spiciness. But it's really a green, which is a really gorgeous, just, you know, if you're in the store and pulling a bouquet of flowers and you smell those beautiful blue bouquet, that's what this smells like. But then it dries down. It has that muskiness to it and gets a little bit powdery. And it also has a little bit of sandalwood to really ground it, to give it, you know, to balance out all these beautiful florals that are in it. It is so beautiful. I need to wear her more. I really do. All right. I need to wear everything though. Isn't it one of those things? Let me say this. I, I ain't tripping, but I do like sometimes I pull stuff out and say, okay, let me pull it out. So then it winds up on the carousel. I think this is going to wind up on the carousel and I am going to put a concerted effort to wear it because I do think this is really good for work. I want to try it out for work once it gets warm, just like wearing it for a few days and see, you know, what the response is because this is so good. Okay. Let me stop talking. Okay. All right. The next I'm going to show you is Golden Almond by Perlier. Now, when you look this up, you're going to look at it and say, why did she put this in here? It's like $60. No. Perlier always has these on sale. So you're going to pay about no more than $45. You can sometimes get a half price, $30. So I'm telling you about it so you can put this on your radar to look for. But mm, this is a beautiful... It's got freesia in it. So it's like this sweet almond. You get the powderiness of the almond, but you get, it's got freesia in it. It's got tangerine. And then it's got musk and cashmere woods in it, a cashmere vibe. So it's got this kind of powdery, almondy vibe, but it really does have um, a nice little floral touch to it with sweetness. Now, I love this thing. I was layering it. That's how I use, you know, I mean, this isn't a huge dent, but I put a little dent in her. I, I put some, I, I did some use with her and I do like it by itself, but I really like it as a layering, especially if you're doing almonds and things, this really gives it the sweet, um, sweet, sexy almond, powdery almond vibe, but um, not too powdery. But yeah, so this is Golden Almond by Perlier. I think that's it. There's my 10. Yep, that's the 10. Now, let me tell you what happens when I look at this, for real. When I was doing this, I was like, I don't have as many affordables as I thought I did or had. I thought, you know, and I get it because I do like... Um, not necessarily an issue, but when I can get a really good deal, I'm going to go there. And so I have a tendency to buy a lot of niche and luxury, not because I'm spending that much money, but because I've been able to find really damn good deals on them. So I've been like buying a lot of, a lot more of that. And of course, Latafas, which we're going to talk about soon. Um, well, we talked about, so I've, it's kind of funny because I don't, sometimes I look, I'm like, I don't have enough affordables. 
which then makes my head go, you need to get some more. So I'm going I'm to I'm push that down because I don't need to be spending that kind of money right now because I'll go out and buy $200 worth of affordable fragrances just to be trying them. But I do need to work on my affordable list to see what I'm looking for to make sure when I see a good price, I just go on and get it. Just go on and get it. And if y'all would like to see my affordable wish list, let me know because I usually do my, you know, need my more expensive stuff. But maybe I should, you know, because I do need to put a list together so I know what I'm looking for. Okay, I've run on and left. Let's get out of here, hoes. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free.